All right, this is a video workshop for the easiest content assessment of the year, measuring circles power focus area in seventh grade summit platform. All you need to know to pass this is radius, diameter, circumference, and area, and the formulas associated with it. So a radius uh, is basically a line segment. So before I can talk about what that is, I have to remind you what line segments are. They're just a line that connects two points. And in geometry, we represent that with two letters with a little uh, dash on top. So for example, I can write segment AB like this, okay? Now, a radius is kind of like that. It's a segment, but it's a special segment that connects the center of the circle to its edge or does the actual circle itself, right? Now, that is a radius, but there's an infinite number of radiuses in within this, or radii within the circle because you can draw them anywhere as long as it's going from the center to the edge. That works. Then you have the concept of diameter. Diameter is connecting edge to edge so long as you go exactly through the center. But because you are going through the center, you are automatically doing two radiuses or two radii, right? Because you're connecting, for example, in this example here, A to B is a radius because it's connecting the center to the edge. But so is A to D because it also connects the center to the edge. And so is A to C. So all of these three segments listed here would be actually connecting the center to the edge. Now, the C to D is going from edge to edge across the middle. That's a diameter. But if you pay attention, that includes both this and this radius. And therefore, it's as if the diameter is two radius I put together. So in general, a radius will always be the measure of a diameter divided by two. And a diameter will always be the measure of a radius times two. That's a really easy relationship between them. Radius is half the diameter. The diameter is twice the radius. Next, we have to talk about circumference. Circumference is kind of like the measurement of going around the circle. They're kind of like the perimeter of the circle. If you were running around a track, it would be if you actually were running around the entire track that distance. There's a formula that can help us figure that out. But before I can talk about that formula, I have to talk about what pi is. Pi, not the type you eat, the actual mathematical concept of pi is kind of like an irrational number. It's a number that goes on forever. It's the ratio of a circumference of the, to the diameter of any circle. And what's really cool about it is that it works for any circle. It could be the size of the sun or a little circle on top of a table. As long as it's a true circle, if you measure the circumference of that circle and you divide that by the diameter of the same circle, you will get this number pi. It works for any circle. Now, if you go to a calculator and you type pi, you get this, 3.14159265359, keep going. The calculator ran out of space, but in reality, that number goes on for a very, 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 very long time. And even this page is not the whole thing. It can never be the whole thing. Even if you keep going, it just loads more and more because it's an infinite number. It will never, ever ever end or so we think so basically pi is a ratio now in for the purpose of a seventh grader you can just abbreviate to 3.14 or use the pi digit of your calculator when you're trying to do a calculation so having said that because circumference divided by diameter equals pi you could also say that circumference is diameter times pi right so you can say that that's true so if you know the diameter of a circle and you multiply that times pi, times 3.14 and so on, you're going to get its circumference. Now, because diameter is radius times two, you can also say that the circumference is two times the radius times pi or two pi r, all right? So these are two different formulas that you can use to figure out the circumference of a circle. So if the problem gives you the radius, you can use this version, 2 pi r, 2 times pi times r. If, it, if the problem gives you diameter, you can use this version, diameter times pi. The last concept that we have to talk about is the idea of area. Area is the space that a, a circle takes up, in a two-dimensional space that a circle takes up. It's the full inside space of a circle. And a formula to figure that out is in terms of pi. So be careful not to use diameter 
when you actually get this formula. If you have the diameter, you have to divide by two first to use the radius in this formula, okay? It's pi times r squared, or in other words, pi times r times r, okay? So that is the expression that gives us the formula for the area of a circle. There is one more formula that's useful sometimes because some problems will start from the circumference and then ask you for the diameter or the radius. So for that, I like to use this formula, which is kind of like a rework of the um, ratio between um, diameter and circumference to give you pi, right? Or circumference and diameter to give you pi. Diameter is circumference divided by pi. Because if circumference is divided by diameter is pi, you can rework that equation to come up with that version. That's helpful because if you're given the circumference, all you have to do is divide that by pi and you get the diameter. Now, because radius is half of the diameter, if you divide that by two, you can also get your radius. So on the next video, I'm gonna show you some examples of problems that are involved with this, and that's all there is to it.